Hi, Leo. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're going to be focusing on what your person regrets most. I want to thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. I want to remind you all, don't forget to like and comment. And there is an extended to this reading as well, just so you all know. Um, but how I've been doing it is we're going to be looking at like what's going on in their life at first. So let's get started on that. So Metatron, Kuan Yin, St. Germain, can you tell me um, what's currently happening in Leo's person's life right now? Mm-mm-mm. All right. Um, uh, very much a lot of the same. I definitely feel like this is someone who's very much stuck by the weight of their responsibilities or the people in their life. It, it's hard to say what the difference is. I honestly feel like this person um, hasn't discerned the difference. All right. Um, I, it feels like they don't know. Like, I don't know if it's I, I don't know where, where responsibilities ends and con and connection begins. Like, they don't know. I definitely feel like that's so intertwined with this person, and it is really jamming them right now. Um, this is someone who's very much stuck, rooted is a really good uh, word Metatron's bringing up, um, in their current circumstances. Um, this is someone... They want to be free. Um, I also feel, and I heard this, I want forgiveness. I think that's interesting, but we'll see if that comes through again. But that's that definitely they come through. They do want forgiveness, but from what or from who? I don't know. Um, however, this is someone who feels very much rooted in their current circumstances, and they feel like they're, there's a disempowered feeling here. Like, I can't do anything to free myself. I can't... Um, do anything to change my situation, to change my energy. And as we all know, right, you can, right? But this person doesn't want to do what needs to be done to get that done, right? So you have someone here who isn't willing to do what needs to be done to get their life to change. Um, the Benetron is pointing out the reason for this. It happens to do with the self. This person doesn't love themselves enough to feel like they're worth it. So guess what they do? They put other people before them. So you have someone here who's very much stuck in this um, mode. And that's what Benetron is giving you, like M-O-D-E, mode. Um, they're very much stuck in this. And they can't find their way out just yet. Um, I do feel they have had a lot of synchronicities, um, a lot of stuff popping up in their, their purview. Um, and this is something that they see the signs, but they don't know what that means. And, you know, as we all know, you see signs because there's a reason, right? And this is someone who's very much, you know, seeing the things that needs to be seen, but they're not really connecting the dots. Um, not the sharpest tool in the shed, essentially, but this is someone who is seeing the synchronicities. I also feel they've been in this long enough to see the pattern as well, because I, I felt like for a moment, like there was help from beings of light, um, or when they, you know, we, even though we may not be expressing it with our own energy or intention or desire to free yourself, that is actually asking for help in a sense, right? Um, it is asking. So I definitely feel like this is someone who is getting some assistance from a being of light or beings like their guides or angels or ancestors. And they're, they're, they pick up their energy or they inspire this person to move and they kind of get a little bit going and they stop again. Um, so they're very much stuck in this, but I am seeing this person really seeing the pattern in that, right? You know, a lot of times people, it happened one time, then two times then three times. You're not really seeing that, you know, you're, you're seeing that it's the same, but you, you think, Oh, it's going to change soon. And it happens four times and five times. And you're like, wait a second, it's not going to change. Like they're, they're in that basically the fourth and fifth time where they're like, Oh my God, it's not going to change. Um, I have to, I have to do something. And in fact, you know, we all see it, right? We all think that change is the universal constant and change in the, and the matrix isn't really changed, right? You know, Technically, this person's life is the same. Technically, the energy to hold is the same. Nothing's changed with them, right? It's actually the same. And this is someone who's starting to see that pattern now, right? Their energy isn't changing, so therefore their life isn't. And this is someone who's realizing this. It's like the fourth and fifth time. That's medicine always says it's like the fifth time is usually the one <laughs> everyone gets, right? Uh, the first and second time, people are just overlooking that, pretending like, oh, it, oh, like it's going to somehow change without them doing anything. Yeah, right, good luck, right? Uh, and then the fifth time is when everyone sees it. So I see this person at the fourth or fifth time uh, really starting to recognize a pattern. Um, and it was kind of shocking. I definitely, you know, um, you, you know, when you like, I, I feel like at the first times they were thinking, you know, it's not going to end like this, it's not going to end like this. And then boom, it ends like this. And they're like, okay, tough, like, you know, uh, all right, you know. Um, but I think like in the, the fourth or fifth time, they are seeing it like this is going to happen exactly like this. I, I'm going to do it all over again and everything's going to happen all over again. And it happened. And this is like, they're like, 
it had, I don't know, had that effect where it's like, you know, you just, you know what I'm talking about? Like it had that effect anyway. I see this person very much in this uh, energy. Sorry. I like, I was like um, laying down, like I like hair. There's like hair everywhere with the kitties. <laughs> um, so let's see, let's see, let's take a look. Um, is there anything else that's happening in this person's life? Very much the same, right? Um, there is a voice, by the way. I don't know what this is. I ooh, it's interesting. Matter, uh, a manager says the voice in their head is your voice. I I feel like it is. It's the it's the thing that calms down all the other voices. Very interesting. So I definitely feel like a lot of chatter in this person's mind. Um, and when your voice uh, speaks, you know how you know how that one voice that if they say something, everyone shuts up. You know what I'm talking about? So I, I, that's happening in their mind. Uh, but it's your voice is the one um, that's, that speaks up and says stuff. You know, um, I definitely feel like they channel your energy or they think about you and wonder what you would do in the situation. This, I hope that makes sense. But uh, this is someone where your voice takes precedence. And what is, what is uh, Leo's voice saying when this person thinks about it? To love themselves? Oh, no. Yes, but you deserve better. Um, and like I told you already, this person has that self-worth healing. And so, therefore, they don't feel like they're worth it. They don't think they're worth, um, honestly, kind of like telling someone no. It really does feel like it's a, like, you know, saying like that, that no. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, you know, I can't do it or something. You know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, they don't think that they're worth saying that. Mm. Um, so, therefore, they don't. But it, it, your voice tells them to keep trying. And that's actually what kind of propels them when they, when they get up, right? They always sit back down, though, right? But when they get up, it is your voice and that's inspiring this person to strive for more. Uh, Manager says that this is a tough road for this person. The reason for this is that there's so many things um, uh, that they are that's holding them back so many, um, you know, and they can do it right away. But this is some until that wound, that self-worth wound has been healed. Um, they cannot, they, they cannot, um, they, they can't sustain that momentum. Yeah. So you have someone here who they're, they're fighting though. Um, they're fighting for their life. It really is that I not, it's, you know, um, because death isn't the end, right? So when you say fighting for someone's life, you're, you're fighting for happiness and this is what they're doing. They're trying, um, not have not have had much success there, but they are trying, and that counts more than more than most most people realize, and more than they realize as well. So uh, let's switch gears. We're gonna be looking at what their intentions are for you. Um, I definitely feel like this person wants to sort out their life uh, before they kind of make a move in your direction. Their intentions are solid um, and full of commitment. Mm, yeah, um, they want to like really, really, really make it real with you. Um, there is a strong emphasis on that, but I need to fix myself and fix my life. Uh, it is, you're going to have a similar pattern, right? With this person. Um, if they don't fix themselves, this is, I hope that makes sense. Like, it's like, if they come in the same type of energy, you're going to have the, and you do too, right? You're going to have the same exact end in, right? So this person recognizes, I, oh, yeah, I need a change, right? I, I need to better myself. I need to fix this life. Right. Um, and then I want to make a move towards Leo. There is an emphasis on wanting commitment with you. Um, they like, this sounds strange, I have to say it. They like that you want them all to themselves. Sorry, you want them all to yourself. Um, you don't want this person, you don't want them giving so much of their time and energy to other things that don't matter. Does that help that make sense? Yeah, it looks like that. Um, they like that because this is helping them reach a standard that they wouldn't have been able to reach, nor would they be striving to reach. So th there is a, an understanding on from you, Leo, what you want from them. And that understanding is I need to reach that or there's no point. Um, so this is someone, it's part of that inspiration that I was talking about where, it come, where this person is trying to strive for more. Um, they know that you are out of the question if they can't re meet that standard and resolve their life right now. They know it's just not possible, right? You will say no. You don't, uh, you know what I mean? Like you, you won't want that. And they don't want, um, they, they don't want friendship really, right? No. <laughs> this person is looking for something a little bit more. Uh, it has some more legs to it, essentially, right? Um, but there is an emphasis on you being very clear about what it is that you're wanting to hear from them, basically, wanting to receive from them. Um, I see this person, they have a gift for you. Um, uh, this is a gift. Management says they, they hide it in their closet. Um, it's a gift that they have for you. It, it feels like it's clothing, 
it sounds strange, but it feels like it's clothing. I'm not sure. Yes, yes, it is clothing. It's something that they. I feel like they were like, um, it could, doesn't have to be clothing or anything like that. I gotta be real, like it, it. But it does. It feels like something that they were, you know, you know, thinking about you when they walked by a shop or something or they were browsing online and they thought and they're like oh my god they'd love that so they have something for you there you come bearing gifts essentially that their intentions are to really um uh-huh sweeten you a sweet like you know yeah come on yeah is that what you say sorry it's like like I don't know. Is it stacked the deck? I don't know. I feel like they were trying to, they're trying to come off sweet though. There, like, there is an emphasis on really wanting to um, make a good impression. All right. So they have a gift. By the way, they have, they literally literally have a gift. But right, um, they're not going to come in until they resolve their current situations. Um, I definitely feel like it's family. Um, like I see like you know people interjecting in them. A lot of people. A lot of this person's family puts a lot of pressure on them um uh friends too i suppose i see it on the other side but family seems to be the one it could have been where they gained that pattern from right and now they have it in their relationships as well but it feels like it, there's family that seems to be really 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 uh weighty yeah weight e yeah um is there anything else on this person's intentions for leo um, they have a, a card for you as well that has an I'm um, sorry, I think I love you too. Sorry, it's how I see it, XOXO. I'm, I'm seeing that. Um, this person has a very cheesy, romantic-y side to them. They, they do. You know how people get flowers for special occasions or a card? You know, like, I, I'm, I, I don't actually, like, I, you know, like, not everyone does that, but... This person, they are very much all about that, and they, they like to give those those tokens. Uh, they have something like that for you as well, uh, or they'll get something for that. That's their intention is to write, give you a card. <laughs> all right, so let's see. What does what is their regrets um, towards Leo, right? What is this person's regrets towards Leo? They should have chose you um, uh, over everything else. I feel one of the things that they really wish that they had done was just run away with you. I know it sounds strange, but like that run away, but I get the getaway. Yeah. Um, sorry, like cross country, cross trip, something like that. It's, it, there's a really, really like, I, I would, I just should have did this. I, and I feel like they may have thought about it, maybe taking a trip with you or running away with you. Um, you know, uh, sorry, it's manager trying to give a joke like faking their death. It is what it is, right? That's what he gave. But uh, there, there is an emph there's an emphasis on on really wanting that getaway. Um, they really wish that they had this, did that. Um, been impulsive. Yeah, there it is, right? Uh, it, it was that. It's that. Like they really wish that they had been more impulsive. Um, and they had just just did it. I do feel they have an impulsive side or they had an impulsive side, but with all that responsibility, kind of disconnected them from that. Um, this is something that they, uh, they really wish that they had, uh, indulged essentially. So let's see, is there anything else that's uh, for the, this person's regrets towards Leo? They treated you like you were second best or second worst. I know. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to figure out what that is. Um, they treated you badly in a sense, but it, it's it's they treated you like you were second rate. Second rate. I think I think it's how people phrase it, right? Um, uh, this is someone who didn't respect you the way that they should have. Um, didn't make you a priority the way that they should have. Um, uh, didn't give you much the way that they should have, but it has to do with treating you less than what who, um, other people, places, and things. And I definitely feel like this is bringing up what we actually already brought up about this person's current life circumstance, but I don't know. Um, but he's Metatron's not making that direct link, but it is what it is. But it, it definitely feels like it could be for some of you. But there's a strong... Um, Focus energy where I it, this is someone who treated you less than second rate, um, and I I'm not sure th there's something that you that they feel like they owed you that they didn't give you, um, and they should have given that to you. I know it sounds strange, but it's like I I should have just given that something. I should have just gave it. Um, why didn't I just give it? You know, what I'm saying it's just it's that. And this is someone who really wished that they had. Um, is there any clarity that you can give me on that? Matter trying to give me a question mark because it's a little bit different for everyone. Um, but he is saying that this person knows that they should have just gave the, gave what they were supposed to give to you or gave what they should have given to you. There's something about respect, though, honor, right? Um, 
yeah, uh, respect and honor that seems to be highlighted. Let me know in the comments, right? Um, what did, what you what this is? I, I love to hear from you. Um, is there any other um, regrets that this person has towards Leon? Sorry, I got something, but it, it sounds strange. I don't know if there was a mother involved, but I definitely felt that. Let me see. Is there any, like, can I get some more clarity, more energy on that, Majan? Um, I'll, like, what is this person's biggest regrets towards Leo? Hmm. One of the biggest ones, um... I definitely felt something about the mother, but that's going to be for everyone. That may have been just for one of you, but I, I don't know what that would mean exactly, so I'm not going to dive into that. Actually, I'm not, I don't know because I'm not going to dive into it. However, what I did get for the last regret is they let their pride, their ego get in the way. I definitely feel um, like this person, uh, there is an rage inside of them, an anger inside of this person. Um, it's something I think that it actually comes across for most of you as them going silent. Um, I don't see a lot of them expressing this, but it is, uh, I, I don't know. You know how, like, if you were to like, you know, um, you know, compact, uh, earth, it becomes a diamond, right? I don't know what the fiery version of that is, but it, that's what I'm seeing essentially where they, it's like, this person just goes on this. I had like a, a healing session with someone and what they had in their heart was pearls. <laughs> well, I don't know, but it feels like this person has a rage inside of them and they have a, uh, a tendency to just, you know, kind of like clam up. Um, I definitely feel like this is someone who let their pride, their ego get in the way. Um, it, Manishan says it's like the dark side of them um, get in the way. Um, this is someone who really wished that they hadn't done that. Um, I, I don't know what this dark side is. It's interesting. Manishan says that you saw it at times, not too much, but it, it, it would have, it, it's interesting. I don't know how to, I don't know. Um, I, I see it like, like, you know how someone has a second version of them on their side, like, like this. Anyway, that's how I see it. But this is someone who has this, this, you know, icky side, uh, um, to them. And they definitely wish they hadn't let that, uh, take over. It feels like it was at uh, a key moment in time where they, these, these, it came out. And this is someone who really regrets that. Um, is there any, anything else in terms of that medicine you want to give? He says, yes. One second. Uh, uh, some of you, though, this person did take out some of their rage and anger out on you. Um, they were easily triggered, right? Um, easily got set off or they came in pissed off. It was it, it was like walking on eggshells. Yeah, they really wish they hadn't done that. I definitely feel like this is someone who I have like anger and rage contract. They need that, basically. It, it probably comes from a place of fear. So need a fear contract, too. But there is an emphasis on that, too. Right. This is someone who um, would at times lash out. Right. So some of you and. Um, I see screaming, like someone being out, outburst. I sorry, that's kind of how I phrase it. Outburst is the is the version of this I'm seeing, um, where they just they can't handle anymore. Anyway, um, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I wanna thank you, Leo. I'm gonna take this over to the extended, and extend we're gonna look at their next move and what they're learning to heal, all that good stuff. I wanna thank you. Oh, please don't forget to like and comment, and take care. Bye, Leo.